The Drake mothers tell me how much you've done to help me. I owe you a life debt for that service. Though I can't leave Dragonspire, I will always be your friend and ally. Unfortunately, time is short and you have much to do. I will take you where you must go. Hop on my back! You mount the drake with a leathery snap. It spreads its wings and takes flight. There you are. All of our hopes go with you.
Malastair, this is Cyrus, your brother. Stop this madness at once. The Dragon Titan will no more serve you than he did the Lords of Dragonspire. Sylvia, your wife, she's gone. There is no power in the spiral that can bring her back. Certainly not this. My brother, Cyrus. You have apparently lost your faith in my abilities. How unfortunate. And how blind of you. The Lords of Dragonspire lacked the will to command the Dragon Titan. I am far stronger than they were. I am the Master of Death! The Dragon Titan will do as I command. I will order it to return my wife Sylvia to life so that she might rule at my side. Cyrus holds up the knowledge crystal, storing Sylvia Drake's memories. I can see that in your madness there is no listening to reason. But perhaps you will listen to the sound of your own heart. Malastep, please. It's me, Sylvia. Listen to me. You must stop this madness. The man I loved would never risk the lives of so many for his own desire. I love you. Please release me. Be happy and move on. I expected better of you, brother. You thought you could trick me with a mere illusion? You'll pay for evoking my beloved Sylvia. Now for my great work, the summoning of the Dragon Titan! Stand aside, young wizard. You cannot hope to stop me. All I wanted was to free you from death. I've done so much to help bring you back. Oh, Malastair, I'm in a better place. Come to me. Rest now, my love. You can rest now. You've done it. Close the cover on this unfortunate chapter. It is unfortunate that you were drawn into such a dangerous battle. But you showed courage and ingenuity beyond anything I could have imagined. I have lost my brother, though the true Malastare was gone long ago. I will return us both to Headmaster Ambrose's office now. I've opened a portal leading there. I suggest you use it.
Bravo, bravo, young wizard. Because you stopped Malister, you've saved every world upon the spiral. The headmaster looks at you with a twinkle in his eyes. I remember when you first enrolled at Ravenwood. I thought I saw something special in you. I apologize for the actions of my brother Malister. With your help, I have released Sylvia's spirit and have done my best to set things right. And I admit that I should have trusted your instincts about the young wizard, Ambrose. Though off to a rough start, the wizard has become a truly remarkable student. Ah, indeed. Now, how about heading back to our classes? I'm certain we can all use a break from adventure. Exciting news. Oh, exciting news indeed. Professor Bailstrom's efforts to enter the door to Celestia have met with success. Bailstrom has repaired Celestia's spiral key. Now we can go to that strange star-lost world and learn of its fate. Here you go. <laughs> For obvious reasons, you have more than earned this. Headmaster Ambrose hands you a spiral key carved with astronomic symbols. Oh, yes. There's a distress call from the Spiral Geographic Society trapped on Celestia. Do see if you can help them out. <laughs>